Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a Goodwill outlet haul for you guys today. I purchased this stuff yesterday. I spent about $60. I already found my receipt, so. But I spent about $60 on everything. It's $1.20 essentially a pound at my Goodwill if you get over 25 pounds, which I always aim to do. Otherwise it's like $2.50 a pound or something crazy. Um, so here we are, I have two big tubs to get through and I will be selling most of the stuff on Whatnot. Whatnot is a live auction platform. If you guys have not joined Whatnot yet, I do have an affiliate code down below that will give you $15 in credit to spend. So if you haven't signed up yet, that might be a great code to use. Um, I'm gonna be running all of these Saturday morning. I'm filming this Friday, putting it up on Friday. And this stuff will go up Saturday morning on whatnot. I will link that show below as well. And I'm going to start it all for just a dollar an item. So it's going to be a fun show. I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys can join me. And here's, I guess, a little show preview, huh? So comment down below. Let me know if you guys have been um, on whatnot, if you've been selling there, if you've been buying there, what your thoughts are about it. I kind of transitioned to only selling on whatnot outside of, I sell, I'm a vendor locally at a store called Tiger's Den. Um, but outside of that, Whatnot has just kind of taken over and I'm loving it. So if you're a reseller and you haven't tried Whatnot yet, give it a chance. Um, I was skeptical at first. It took a while to convince me, but I'm absolutely loving it. I'm doing great. I'm making more money than I ever made on Poshmark or eBay or any other site. It's kind of wild. Um, never in my wildest dreams would I expect this. So give it a shot, you guys. It is a lot of work. It's more work than I've ever put in either, but it's worth it. Okay, I am going, ooh, I hate when that happens, when you get like a little hangnail right before you're gonna go through clothes. Does anyone else get like bu bugged by that when your nail is like catching? It's a pet peeve of mine. Okay, what you guys are here for, let's do it. So this was like really a basic day to me. There was nothing that exciting, but like, it wasn't that good, but it wasn't bad. You know what I mean? Like I got a lot of good bread and butter items that I think you guys are gonna love. I was really looking for like cozy fall pieces because we are transitioning. It is the end of August right now. Um, this is the first item. It's a Lily Pulitzer and it's just like a really soft sweater. Here's the tag. It's a size medium. And it, the cute part about this is it has like a little bit of a ruffle detailing on the sleeve. You see that? It's a little bit of a fancy sleeve. I'm excited. I will definitely be putting that in the show tomorrow. The next item is a pair of Rock Revival shorts. So these are Rock Revival. They're size 34 and they are the Stanley shorts. Let me button them. Here they are. So they're like a short, like a longer short. Um, very Y2K. There's the back. They do the flat pockets, all that good stuff. I'm going to run them on whatnot tomorrow. Um, these I would probably list on Poshmark for like $30 to $40. So the thing about whatnot is everyone gets a deal. You guys are getting a good deal. I'm making money. It all works out. So that's what I love about whatnot. Um, the next item here is a Madewell denim dress. So this is Madewell size medium and it is a button down shirt dress in this like classic denim chambray. There we go. I love these. Um, I think this might be a like older Madewell piece. Did you know there's always date codes on the tag down here? Uh, fall 16, so it's about five, six years old, but this is like such a classic piece that I feel like it will still do really good. Why is my dog barking? <laughs> Who knows? Seven, no, thank you. I'm really gonna try not do any cuts in this video because I wanna be able to just like put it up. Okay, BP, red, chunky knit, balloon sleeve, oversized sweater. How amazing is this for fall? I'm gonna like push myself up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I want you guys to like get the full effect of these pieces. I love this. It's just BP, which is just a Nordstrom house brand, but I just thought it was so perfect for fall that I couldn't leave it behind and it's a 1X. So I love to be size inclusive. It's really important to me. This is a vintage kid dress. I'm actually having a kid sale today. So um, it's early in the morning right now. I'm gonna get everything washed and prepped and then do like a little kids pop-up sale. So I will be putting this into the kids pop-up. It is a strawberry vintage dress. 
no tags. It was probably homemade, so I'll have to include measurements. Not a big deal at all. How adorable is she? No stains, no flaws, perfect condition. So that will go in my kid's cell today after I wash it. This is a really soft sweater from Athleta. Athleta, I know there's that whole thing going around. Um, Athleta, I'm saying it's a size medium and it's just a pullover, kind of like mid-weight top. You could also use it as like a layering piece, like a sweater or something. I love the crisscross on the bottom. This one is, I think it's Eileen, yeah. Eileen, come on Eileen. A little black stretchy knit uh, trumpet skirt. So the way it flares kind of at the bottom is so pretty. This is a really good um, piece to transition into fall with, wear it with some tall boots. And it's gonna be so cute. Goodwill one at $12.99, no one bought it. So I got it at the bins. Probably paid a dollar for a $300 skirt. We love that. Whew. Okay, what else? This one is a Heartloom. Heartloom is sold on Revolve and other places. Um, I used to always pass it up and then I kind of learned that it has a decent resale value and their pieces are really cute. So now I grab it if I see it at places like the bins or if I can get at it for like under $5 or if it's just like a really unique piece. So a medium, it's a hooded little pullover sweater, perfect like cozy with leggings or jeans just kind of throw on, run some errands type of sweater. Another sweater, like I said, I was really looking for the knits and the um, like transition pieces. So this one is new with tags. It's just a new day from Target. Uh, it is an extra large and I love this kind of pumpkin spice latte color. It is really, really pretty. It's like a marled rust color. And yeah, Disney with tech, so we love that. Okay, I think these are a pair of leggings. They are. These are Nike Hyper Cool Leggings in a size medium. They are cropped and they're just like a nice little basic piece. Little mesh on the back there for you. This I had to look up. Um, I didn't know the brand, but I could tell it was decent quality. It is called Roan and Ryan. And it's sold at places like um, Everly. Have you heard of that place? It's like kind of like a boutique store, but they carry like Good American and like Rolly, like all these like kind of popular um, mid-range brands. And this is one of the brands that they carry. So I went ahead and grabbed this. I thought it was so cute. It's a knit maxi dress in this kind of cool tie-dye. And it's a woman's size medium. This is a pair of jeans from BDG, which is Urban Outfitters. I love picking up BDG jeans. They sell so well for me. When I was listening on Poshmark, it was like an easy $20, $25. And when you're buying at the bins, that's fantastic. These are the 90s boot cut in a size 29. They are a black wash with the boot cut leg. So these ones should do good. Hopefully they'll get up to like 10 or 15 or whatnot. We'll see. These will go in today's show. Again, I'm like sorting over here into piles to wash. Um, I love finding these. These are baby Carhartt overalls. And I love a Carhartt. Kids Carhartt stuff always sold really well for me on Posh. These are a size nine months. Like as soon as I list Kid Carhartt, it would sell. So don't sleep on baby Carhartts. People love them. Next up is a little um, swimsuit top. I looked this up. It's sold on Anthropology and other like big sites. It is an expensive brand. I'd never heard of it before. And it took me a second to even find the label because it's like, <laughs> it's in there, but it's hard to see. There you go, there it is. It's called Aaliyah Blue. And I was like, at first I was like, what is this? And then I saw it was recycled materials. And I was like, oh, that's always a good sign. So anytime I see like recycled cotton or organic cotton or recycled, whatever, I'm like, okay, this company cares and they put more money into their product. And that means they probably sell them for more. So I grabbed this little bra, uh, or sorry, this little swimsuit top. And I saw that it was selling this exact swimsuit top brand new just for the top was like 120 or 150. So I was like, yes, come home with me. The bill wanted $10 for the, just the top. Didn't sell, got it at the bins. I love that. Okay, we have a little denim jacket. I think this is a kid's denim. It is, it's Treasure and Bound by um, Nordstrom. So this is a Nordstrom house brand. They do make adult stuff, but they also make kid stuff. The kid sizing will always look like that, like medium and then the numbers underneath it. So this is a medium, so size 810, and it is a distressed 
denim jacket. Your kid is gonna look so cool in this. If that fit Delilah, she would probably want to steal it, but she's bigger than that now, so it won't fit my daughter, so it's off to you guys. This is a little Free People boho blouse. It is really cute. It's embroidered, and then it's got the big bell sleeve over here and on this side too, and I just absolutely loved it with that tie neck, perfect fall piece. This one is a size extra small. We have two kids Hannah Anderson dresses. These are my favorite by Hannah. My daughter lived in these when she was younger. Absolutely amazing. High quality, like thicker organic cotton dresses. This is the, um, like a play dress. It's a size 130, which I think is like a 10. I need, I need to look at the size chart. And then I found this with it, like right next to the same size. Oh, 140 is a 10. So 130 is like an eight. Um, there we go. Hannah Anderson and how cute is this for fall back to school oh my gosh I love it I love it I love it I love it you guys <laughs> um next piece here is a little top from North Face and this is just a men's large blue cotton shirt it is double layered I believe it's pretty thick um it's not it's just like a really thick cotton material yeah so nice fall piece nice layering piece I can't believe I'm running all this for a dollar tomorrow. <laughs> these are Nike kid shorts. These are Nike tech. Um, these ones are a size six months. I did notice that the string had gone. It needs to be pulled back out through the hole. So I'll just grab my tweezers and do that. Not a big deal. And love those. Matilda Jane. I found two pieces of Matilda Jane in a very big over bin. So I was kind of sad. I'm sure there was more in there. Matilda Jane, 18 to 24 months. Great kid brand. Look at how cute this little dress is. And then there's a pair of velour pants. These are also an 18 months and Matilda Jane would definitely like wear this together. So I'll probably sell this as a set today. Um, we have a little waffle knit top. It reminded me of Free People, but I think it's uh, Urban Outfitters. Let's see. Yeah, it's Me To We, which is sold at Urban Outfitters. So you know, Urban Outfitters, Free People, and anthropology are all the same umbrella brand <laughs> um so a lot of their pieces will end up looking the same look at this this looks just like that free people top it's the same material and everything so here it is it is like a high low kind of raw hem with the big oversized cowl neck i think those are so perfect for fall and everyone should have one in their closet i've one in black and i throw it on with leggings and it's just like the perfect fall cozy outfit my nose is like starting the dust is uh, making my nose. Woo! Okay, we're not gonna do that though because I don't have time to edit a video today. <laughs> All in one take, no matter what. Okay, guys, you're here in it with me. Cabby medium. These are the like modest leggings. So there's a lot of women out there who, um, you know, they dress more modest and they don't want to just be wearing leggings. So they have the built-in skirt with it. These, um, I don't know how popular they are now because I haven't found a pair in a while, but back in the day on eBay, any sort of like legging with a skirt on it was mwah, just like such fast money. So I still pick them up because there's definitely a market for them. And this is the technically, I guess, people say newer tag, but it's been newer for like five years now. So um, this is like a space dye fabric cabby medium. Okay. You get it, that's the point. We're gonna be here forever if I don't speed it up a little. Uh, this is a Free People piece and it's a sweater dress. It is a size medium and it has this really cool big oversized cowl neck, short sleeve. Wait, I would layer this with like a shirt under a long sleeve shirt underneath and it would be so cute. So definitely running that tomorrow. We have a little Bowden dress. It's a size US 10 petite and I just love, love, love the pattern on this. It has pockets. There's the Bowden tag. That's the newer Bowden tag. And I can't, I'm gonna start at a dollar. Okay, this is a great Halloween outfit. I never watched this show, um, but it's Riverdale. And this one's a size small and it's just like the little Riverdale. I know it's really popular. So, and it does have the like patch on the back. So Halloween is coming up. I thought I would grab this and we'll run it. Maybe someone needs a Halloween costume. I don't know, maybe someone just likes the show and wants the jacket. That's, uh, that's up for you to decide. These are All In Motion, which is sold at Target. These are high rise joggers. I actually have a pair of these and I love them. They're super cozy. And I was like, well, I'll buy them. If no one wants them, I'll just keep them for myself. 
<laughs> so brand new attack size large joggers. These are a pair of jeans from Madewell. They are the 10 inch high rise skinny and a 31 tall. Let me get made well, great condition. And how much did Goodwill want? $7.99, that's not bad. I probably would have bought these for $7.99 to be honest with you. Okay, this is really cute, you guys. This is I Do by Victoria's Secret. And it is a size small. There is an X on the tag. So my Goodwills, um, what they do is they, when they tag the items, they put the Roman numeral on the tag. So you can't switch tags. So they kind of like when you're checking out or whatever, they will sometimes like double check the tags randomly. Um, and, but it's water soluble ink. Literally as soon as you wash it, it comes off the tag. It's not a big deal. Or you can even just take like a baby wipe to it. Um, so anyway, that's that. That's the story. People ask about those numbers a lot. And it just says bride on the back. How cute. And it's got like a satin trimmed hood. Love that. More kid stuff for my kids still. Um, Columbia snow pants. I usually list these on Posh for about 50 and they sell really well. Sometimes they sit, but I just let them sit. And then someone will come along. I get a lot of full price sales on these. Um, Columbia snow bib. This one is a size 3T. So these sell best in like, November to February, um, November to February, which is coming up very quickly. Very, very quickly, actually. That's nuts. I can't believe it's already the end of August. Like my kids go back to school in two weeks. It went by really fast, but also really slow. <laughs> this is an Athleta zip front bra. Love these. These are really great for working out. Um, and this one's a size medium. We have a little top. I think this is so cute. So I know a lot of these band tees um, do really well. Even the newer ones, this one's a size large, but it's not just like a regular graphic, like screen print. It also has embroidery on it, you guys. So all of those flowers are actually embroidered onto the shirt. Love that. This is a sweater from um, Toad and Co in a size large. I have found that um, large and extra large do the best for me on whatnot. So I do really try to focus on those sizes. I do include all sizes in every show. That's really important to me. But uh, I have a really hard time moving smaller sizes. And yeah, so that's that. I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. I just thought of that. <laughs> Here it is. This is a little gray zip up sweater. It's in perfect condition and it is so nice, you guys. Like this probably retailed for $150. Their stuff is amazing. So they're like REI. This is a pair of Nike Jordan basketball shorts in an extra large men's. They're just a little gray Nike basketball short with the Jordan logo. I found two probably from the same dude. These are a size large and these are gray and black with the Jordan logo right there if it will focus. You can do it camera, I believe in you. This is a Lululemon men's top. It's inside out right now, but you get the point. It's like a tech swiftly, I believe it's a size large. This is another graphic print tee. Oh gosh, you guys, this one's really good. This is an extra large and it is a Twilight Team Jacob New Moon tee. These sell for a ton of money. Um, I was very excited to find this one. So yeah, if you find Twilight Tees at the bins, grab them. Uh, American Eagle, I might sell that at Tiger's Den. So I'll probably put that locally at the shop that I sell at. It's called Tiger's Den. It's on Mississippi and Portland. I'm a vendor there. Um, and how it works there is I just drop off 25 to 40 items a week once a week and I have, I price them, I do all that, but they hang them and merchandise them and everything. And it's amazing. It's like my favorite thing ever. I've been a vendor at other places where you had to like manage your booth and deal with all of that. You don't have to do any of that. You just drop it off and go. And I wish there was more places like that. It's the most genius idea. I'm like, you need to expand and be everywhere because it's like the easiest way I make money and my favorite way because I just, it's fun. It's fun. Anyway, look for local opportunities like that near you because 
it's a great, like, it's kind of like a side hustle for me. <laughs> American Eagle, the everything pocket legging, and they just have the funnest stuff. Like, I love going shopping at Tiger's Den. If you guys haven't been there before, you gotta go check it out if you're in Portland. It's really fun. It's female owned, and you know, I love that. You know, I love that. Um, okay, this is more sweaters. Oh god, okay, hold on. I'll do these first. These are just um Ivia by Lululemon size 14 leggings, a little bit appealing, which is pretty normal. Put those in the kids sale. And then a top that says equality on it. This is the Nike uh, top in a medium. These do really well. I've actually never seen the gold one, usually just written in white. Okay, check out these weird free people shorts. So these are free people shorts in a size small, but they're like a knit, <laughs> like super high rise. Like this is where, look how high rise this is. This is the rise. Look how big this is. What? What? These are so cool and cozy and I bet they're like the most comfortable thing. I kind of want to try them on just to be like, what are these? Um, so I found those, grabbed them. I thought they were really cool. We have a t-shirt. This is a Nike t-shirt. It's weird. So there's the front and I don't know if you guys can see on the back. Yeah, you can like a football player. I don't know who that is, but I will find out. <laughs> I will Google. I don't know the name brand of these. I need to do a little bit of research. If you guys know, drop a comment for me. That's the logo, but these were like um, flare leggings and they had pockets and they just seem like pretty good quality. They are both a size medium and I have them in navy blue and black. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research. And either way, they're gonna do a dollar start. So it's like a dollar for nice quality leggings. I'm fine with that. Next is these pair of joggers from Hybrid. I think these are just sold at Target, but they were brand new and they're Lakers and I thought someone would love those. We have another pair of Free People shorts. These are Free People Beach. They're size medium and they're just like a rust color, pull on cozy terry knit short. I have this, which is a lag and look piece for sure. I'm gonna look up the brand because I haven't looked it up yet, but it's called Nomad, made in Morocco. Um, and it is just this like very, very lag and looky art to wear top. So grab that guy. Oh my gosh, this, I have a lot of stuff. I didn't realize how much stuff I had. A pair of Miss Me jeans. These ones are Miss Me's in a size 28 and they have the detail pockets, all that good stuff. Low rise, these are definitely coming back. I would list those around Poshmark for $40. And not just that though, I got a pair of kid Miss Me jeans. What? Miss Me bootcut jeans in a size 12. And I'm definitely gonna be putting these into the kid show today. Someone's gonna love those. I think those are so fun. Um, these are a pair of Levi's 501 denim jeans. I love the distressing on them, like the natural wear. And here's the front. A lot of people cut these off into shorts, but these are really nice, like really nice 501s. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this sweater, I looked it up, the comps on this brand, and it was fantastic. S I O N I. Mm -mm. There's the tag. Okay, so here's the sweater. It has like a lot of Johnny Was vibes to me. Look at all this like heavy embroidery and then on the back as well. It's absolutely stunning and it's an extra large, longer length. Can't believe I'm gonna run that for a dollar tomorrow, but I am. I hope you guys will all come. Use that $15 credit that I linked below for signing up. You have to be brand new to whatnot to you to get that credit, but you haven't signed up for it before. There it is down below. Next item here is a sanctuary size medium tiered baby doll dress. Absolutely love a baby doll, like cutie dress. Um, Lululemon pair of shorts. Hi, aren't you cute? Yes. Um, I'm gonna save a few of them. Feels like how I'm like, do, 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 do. okay. I found there was like a whole bin of skirts from Maine, like the rack, we call it the racks. So it's like the racks is like the regular Goodwill stores and then the bins are the bins. Like you're either sorting through a rack or you're sorting through a bin. So these are, I saw, uh, and I usually wouldn't go through it because I don't love skirts, but I, I went through it. <laughs> and so no one else was going through it and I found some good stuff. So this is a cost um, skirt, it's a size 10. 
I do like finding this brand. And it's just like a black little pencil skirt, really great basic. This is my favorite one that I found. This is Bowden and it's a 12 long. And if I was a fancy lady, I would wear this. But I mostly just wear leggings. So look at this plaid <gasps> pencil skirt. Oh my gosh. And it looks and feels brand new. So I was really excited about that find. This is just a wild fable size four mini skirt. I'm gonna put this over at Tiger's Den because these bright colors do really well. And then I have a little soft surroundings wrap top in a size 3X in this really pretty oatmeal color. Who uses a dress? I'm not sure. I'll look up the style number, but it is so pretty. I loved it. I think it's a tunic. It's not quite long enough to be a dress. Um, this is a Lulu's maxi dress. It is a wrap. And where's the top? We'll find it. There it is. It's an extra large. I sell Lulu's pretty well on whatnot. Um, I sold a dress very similar to this, but in a different colorway this past Monday. And I think it sold for like $40. So Lulu's is a great brand to sell on whatnot. I think everyone loves their pieces. Okay. I want to wait on this. I have two of these, so I want to show them together. More skirts. This was, oh wait, this might have been my favorite skirt that I found in that bin. This is the Adul's which is sold at Anthropology, and it is crazy expensive. I was so excited about this skirt. So this is a embroidered, beautiful little um, like knee length skirt. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. I was so excited about that one. And then a little gingham skirt from Free People in a size 12, a little mini skirt. Can't go wrong with this. You can dress this up so many different ways, you guys. Loved the three people skirt. A Madewell zipper front pencil skirt in a size 26. And whatever this is, I think this is Eileen. Yep, Eileen, size large wool, midi length trumpet skirt. Do you see how it has like the panels and everything in there? And it's wool. I think it's Murano wool too. No, viscose wool. Okay, but still a very nice thick black skirt. Perfect for fall and winter. And then this is a sweater from Dwar. I got it because it's a size large and it's 100% cashmere, you guys. And it has like a little, not a hood quite, but you get it. It's like very, very cozy, open front, pull on cardigan. Okay, well this next one is a Billabong swim cover. And I just thought this was cute, so I grabbed it. And this is a Sublime graphic print tee in a size small. This one's like more fitted, which I thought was cool. We see a lot of the big oversized ones, but I like a fitted tee personally because of my body type. Fitted tees just work better for me. So I love a fitted tee with a good pair of jeans. I've been wearing Levi's rib cage lately and I'm just obsessed with them. This is a Nike size small. I think this is a, might be a dress. And that vintage, they call it their vintage fabric. Uh, this one is a graphic tee of the Rolling Stones. It is long sleeve and it's brand new with tags and a size medium. This one is another Eileen. I found a bunch of Eileen, huh? A medium V neck sweater, very pretty. Ooh, what fabric are you? You're soft. I love a soft fabric. Okay, this one is 100% Murano wool. What a find. That was probably $400 brand new. Oh my gosh, the stuff you can find at the bank. I remember I only paid like $60 for all of this. All, and I still have one more tub. Nuts. Uh, this is brand new with tags, Marika um, Bra, and it is a size US 3X. So I could not leave this amazing little brand new with tags sports bra behind. Another sports bra. This is a Victoria's Secret sports bra. It's a size large, and it just has really cool graphic on the front. This one's a skirt from J. Hill. I thought this was a perfect fall transition skirt here. J. Jill, it is a size extra large and it's like a purple floral skirt. Do, 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 do. Another J. Jill extra large. I'm sure the same person donated them. This one is knit though and it has like kind of like that wrap detail on the front. How cute would this be with tights and tall boots? Ooh, I can see it now. <sighs> Um, these are a pair of Lululemon shorts, little booty shorts. Another skirt from Bowden. This one's a stripy skirt. 
another good little transition fall piece and a pair of cozy joggers from Piranha. Oh wait, no, this is a skirt. A cozy skirt from Piranha. This is a pencil skirt. This is actually very, very cute. This would look amazing with like a little graphic tee. It does have a slit on the back, a drawstring waist. This is definitely my style. I would wear this if this was a large. Okay, um, up next is this bin. Gonna be reaching from somewhere else now. Let's see what I can do. Okay, so this is a little top. Oh, I love this top. This is Carhartt. And this is an extra large women's Carhartt shirt. And look at it, it has Rosie the Riveter on it. Like it has, well, it's like a, a symbol, symbol to Rosie on the Carhartt logo. I loved this, I had to grab it. I don't always grab like basic Carhartt t-shirt, but that, yes. James Pierce, size zero, so like an extra small, little open front cardigan, long line. I just thought this was really cute, so I grabbed it. It does have buttons down the front, and it is a nice stripe. These are Hannah Anderson Christmas PJs in a size small. My family actually uses this exact Christmas PJ, so I will keep these for either Des or Delilah as they get older. And we always take our little picture in front of the tree and, and wearing those PJs. Everyone has a pair. Sanctuary, brand new with tags, little um, uh, mini length skirt in a size 2X. And it's just like a really cool pink, almost like a leopard print. I don't know, abstract print. It's cool though. I really like that. This one is a Eileen again, I believe. Yeah, Eileen Fisher, size small, open front, hooded, knit cardigan. <gasps> Don't you love this? I know I'm not doing a good job showing it off right now, but I can guarantee you that this is adorable and hopefully this will sell for around 30, maybe less, maybe more, who knows, but that's a great sweater. This is a Nike hooded leopard print um, sweatshirt. Here it is. And this one is a size large. We love it. I love it. I'm ready to find a new home. I actually kind of want to keep that. I love a leopard print. I'm wearing a leopard print jumpsuit right now from Athleta. <laughs> okay. Um, these are a pair of Columbia swim shorts in a size extra large, and they're just a green camo swim short. A pair of Levi's jeans. These are another 501 and a 36 with the button fly. These are a gray color. 501s have been doing pretty good for me, either at Tiger's Den or selling, um, yeah, I haven't really sold any on whatnot, so Tiger's Den. These are Zara pants in a size extra small. They're just a black kind of pull-on, semi-casual, you know, go out to brunch pant. Nike Tech full zip bomber style jacket. It's got a little stain on the front, but I will take some spray and wash and get it right out, no biggie. A dinosaur top, just because I liked it. The brand name is LA Soul, who cares? Um, but it is a button down shirt covered in dinosaurs. And uh, it's an extra large. And I just thought this was like the coolest top ever. So here it is, it's coming to whatnot. <laughs> who doesn't want a dinosaur top? Everyone, right? Maybe, I hope so. Anyone who is me, who is just like a grown up child. Yesterday, Joe and I had a date night and we went and got sushi. Mm, we went and got banana pudding from this like southern place we really like and then we went to the nickel arcade wonderland here in portland and played games forever and just had like the best time because we are children in adult bodies i swear um mountain hardware women's skirted leggings in a size medium we have a little athleta pink burnout kind of crop Pull over top, perfect for yoga. Wear this with some like high rise leggings. Pull over your sports bra when you get to yoga. This is a vintage shop. I'll probably sell this on whatnot. Or, um, Tiger said. I mean, I have to do some research on this. I think this is a good one. I had the like all over school one before. Joe actually had that, gave it to his cousin. Um, but this one is really cool too. So we'll do some research on this and figure out what it is. A pair of pants. I got these because they were new with tags. They're size large and they are just really cool. I really like the um, all over print. 
but look at it. The print is like skateboards. There's a hamburger. There's a happy face. These are just cool pants. I'll probably sell those at Tiger's Den. We have a pair of pull-on pants from Zara again. These, however, are size large and they are cargo. Jogger pants, super on trend right now. We have a pair of Moto style Hudson um, joggers. There they go. You see this like cool Moto style jogger? Yes. A Johnny Was top. This is an older Johnny Was piece, but it's still really cute. I'll probably sell this on Tiger's Dead, to be honest with you. I think it will do really well there with this like really fun pop of green and the embroidery. Um, because this is an older Johnny Was piece, it's not as, I don't know if it will do as good on whatnot. That's all. Um, Levi shorts, little cutoff shorts with the embroidery down the side. And these are the classic shorts in a size 20 women's. Let me button them. Here you go. There we go. Little classic cut off denim shorts. Um, this jacket. Oh my God. I love it. It is this like camel color Jagner, Jagger vintage jacket. It is a wool silk blend. And it's just like that classic style coat that is so on trend right now. And it was in perfect condition and just absolutely stunning. So, you know, I had to grab it. This one happens to be a size what size are you? I'm not sure. Size 10. Size 10. Beautiful. Beautiful stunning little coat. I feel like that monochromatic uh, color is so on trend. So let's see here. This is a halogen extra small little soft bubble sleeve sweater. Very cute. And then, oh my God, I love this. I saw this from like a bin away and I ran to the other side to grab it. It is a knit Adidas sweater with like, this is all knit in there. How cool is that? It's not like a graphic. It's like an actual knit in the sweater and it's a size large. We have a shirt from Mountain Hardware, I think. Yep, yeah, Mountain Hardware. Um, button down plaid shirt with a hood. There we go. And this is a vintage little cat shirt. It says, I am perfectly calm. That's so funny, you guys. I will probably put that over in Tiger's Den. We'll see. Uh, these are Ralph Lauren shorts, but they are the like Ralph Lauren sport which happens to be pretty popular. They're a size 33. I actually love finding this um, diffusion line of Ralph Lauren. And they are a lightweight, kind of like a golf short, to be honest with you. Um, and they're polka dots. The fabric is super um, like quick dry fabric. Then we have, this is a red polka dot hooded lightweight running jacket from Nike. This is a men's jacket a men's like scuba hoodie from lululemon there we go Ta-da! i think it's a large that's very very nice it's so heavy and thick and then just a couple more things in here you guys and then we're good oh there was some more stuff in my car too that i forgot we didn't get out but this will be it um this is a pair of citizens of humanity these are skinny jeans, I believe. What are you? No, these are straight leg jeans. These are the medium rise straight leg jeans in a size 27. So we love a straight leg jean. Very on trend right now. Levi's cut off shorts. And oh wait, what are these? Oh, these are Levi's altered, which is really good. If you guys see this, you definitely want to... I don't know. There we go. If you guys see it says Levi's Altered, grab these. Seriously, they're definitely much more expensive than the regular Levi's. And then another pair of Levi's 501 cutoff shorts and two bras. Ta da! <laughs> so this one is a pair more bra. And this one is a um, Notori bra. And I will sell the bras on Poshmark. Okay, and then these two short shirts are really weird. I, I, they're definitely like a newer, um, they're a repop of vintage shirts that all over print. But I know that they are a repop because it has a screen print logo and, or the screen print tag. 
And this one is WWE, five views with attitude. There's the front and the back, all over print. And then this one is same thing, um, extra large. And this is Brett. I don't know what this is. I have to like figure out what this is. Brett Screwed, is that it? I don't know. I have to figure out what this is. I'm guessing it's like another wrestling top because they were together, but I found those, I thought they were fun. So that's my whole haul, you guys. I am going to get to work now, uploading these, uh, well, actually getting them all washed, uploading them into the store, and then I will be live at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time Saturday tomorrow. So if you're watching this the day it came out, I hope you will join me in the morning. Use that link for $15 off your first purchase on, or your $15 credit for signing up with whatnot. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Bye.